So, so I'm gonna bug someone now who doesn't want to be bugged, but we don't really give a flying rat's ass. Yes. And actually, that should be one of the main questions to the man who probably knows the answers. So, um, yes, wait, um, okay, can you hold this for us? This is Mr. Mr. Kochman. No, Mr. Edwin Koch. From yes. Koch. From Koch. Yes. Hello. So you know how these amps work? Yes. You design yes, you. them? No, that's all. Okay. What do you do? I do the sales and the marketing. The sales and the marketing? Yeah. He brings them to you. Yeah, we do. But when we talked yesterday, you knew your shit about this stuff. Oh, well, thank you. So uh, I'm going to put you behind the camera. Is that okay, cool? Okay, yeah. You have to come really close because of the shotgun mic thing. So before we talk, come really close. Before we talk about this cool thing, I just said we don't give a flying rat's ass. I've asked my viewers, I'm going to ask you, what is a flying rat's ass? Is that a flying rat and the attached ass of said rat, or is that a detached ass that's how, flying of its own accord? That, that someone threw. What is a flying rat's ass? Uh, I like the latter, it's a little bit more surreal. Because then we ask the question how did the ass get detached? Paranormal activity. One morning I went into my kitchen and I shit you not, we have cats. The thing that was on the floor was only, it was a mouse's ass. Yes. But I was like, that probably flew there and it's right. Which is unusual because you'd think the one thing the cat would eat right off would be the ass because they're ass sniffing creatures of the highest <laughs> order. And that's why I always wanted to make a video with Greg Koch right there. <laughs> Who has a, a new amp? Let, let's do some pitching here. Yeah! We, of course we don't want to do that actually, but we're gonna do it because the thing he has is pretty the thing he has is pretty awesome. That sounded wrong. That sounds that sounded his new amp is awesome. That's what I'm trying to say. There you go. First of all, look at the color. Look at the color. Sonic blue! That is parity. The question is, does it go with the guitar? I think it does. I think when you got faded it's Fiesta a, Red with the Sonic Blue, it's a doggone party. The faded is good. If it was bright red, I'd throw a no there, but the faded... Yeah, it kind of goes with the, the Sonic Blue, yeah. quasi-powderish blue situation. The quasi-powderish blue si Wow. Can you dig it? I do dig it. Excellent. So this is a 210 combo with a very soft handle made out of uh, cat leather. Yes. They specifically breed the cats for that. This is actually cat's ass That's right, right there. Well, which is, as we've mentioned, a very rare and delicious elixir <laughs> infested. No, they don't do that. Don't don't write in the comments, we're not buying Koch amps because they're abusing cats. No, they don't. Exactly. They we don't abuse, do that. They abuse some other kind of animal. Farm animal. Um, so, we have a clean channel and a drive channel. Yes. No, you do, you. First question is going to be: Does it gent? No, it does not. Right. This is not a eight-string metal amp, is it? Well, I suppose you could gent away on it if you wanted to, but I, I think the um, the Sonic Blue would turn. Yeah. Blood red or... Imagine you're like cyber a seven string, eight string and people on stage with that. There's a... A disturbance in the forest. Yes, yes. So, two beautiful channels, full uh, EQ on both, and a boosty switchy Rooney right here. Right. And there's also a OTS. Of course, who, who wouldn't want an OTS? Come on! On both channels, and OTS is output tube saturation. So what that does, there's a half watt power amp tube that gets flamed into submission that you can add and to your line shown. level. So it just kind of takes your tone and goes just like that. Fuchunk. It would be the Fuchunk sound. Yes. Or Blort, depending Blort. on. Blort. Blort. Blort's a good one. Um, so you can put that on either channel. That's correct. And then, holy flying rat's ass. Yes. There's a tremolo with a harmonic swooshy whooshy mode. There is. And, and the sound that it, it does is. <laughs> yeah, let's check it out. Let's check. Let's hear that sucker right now. Oh, that's recording. 
That's gent right there. If anything gent, so, it's, it's this. That is gent terrific right there. Yeah, get your nine string out and you're good. Yes, exactly. And then we have a reverb, which isn't just a reverb knob, it's actually... Yes, the three control with, reverb with the dwell and the tone and so, the volume. So what, dwell is the decay? Yeah, so you can keep it on real long and do like a... Exactly. It's the only riff people know when they put a lot of riff. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. Right now I have it on the 25 watt mode. You need to do 25 or 50 watts. 50 Feel watt 34, is goodness. This many and then zero. That's a lot. But here's what I did. Are you ready? So when I add this OTS thing to our clean channel, you get this kind of... It gets juicy. But, but not distorted. Exactly. Something with oomph. Yes. Output tube saturated. Sean. Um, so when you put this on on the lead channel, it sounds like a buzz. So check this out. So if we go to lead land, we're going to lead land. So I've got the gain at about about uh, three o'clock there. this because uh, because these show videos are completely freaking pointless <laughs> right it's a little loud here but what's by cool the way about that's this? an amazing t-shirt i have to say that that t-shirt is just amazing because ron burgundy for president right exactly or anything but yeah uh, so if i turn this off and then put the game boost out it's more of a natural and then we go from that to full power. It's obviously it gets so realistically. Give me two answers. Give me the pitch for the company. Who needs this app? Everyone. Realistically, who needs this app? Uh, professional guys that are maybe a little bit more roots oriented, but not doesn't have to be. But that's who would be initially inclined to use it. People who like Univibes, but Love want Univibe. board, but want to be able to get an amp that you could run clean with pedals, or do the channel switching thing, or just put it on the overdrive channel and use the volume control. It works for any of those things. Blues, country, pop, classicy rock guys. Correct. Yes. That don't necessarily want to drag a pedal board around. Correct. Because it's all it all these things are switchable on the foot switch. Yeah, it should be a five button foot switch. Okay, and I saw there's a routing thing. Yes, so you can make the tremolo or the harmonic vibrato be after the reverb, which it is right now, or before the reverb, and that just changes the complexity yeah. of the tone a little bit. It's kind of cool thing to have. So it's the, it's kind of the all-in-one amp for the rootsy guy right. that that doesn't want to compromise in reverb, in vibrato, and, right. in, and in drive. And it doesn't want any of the, what, I would say any of the digital stuff, but I assume the reverb is digital. No, it's two. It's all really? two, yeah. So everything is all analog. Correct. How close do I get if I strap on a telly, have this amp, I'm all by myself, no one's watching, how much am I gonna feel like I can play like you? Completely. That is the <laughs> correct answer. That is the correct answer. You heard it right here. Now, now I want it. 
Yes. Now I want it. It's Before so I was like, eh. But if I can sound like you. Well, I, one key thing, people are going to ask how heavy it is. So you gotta, you gotta do me a favor, just pick it up. I'm right-handed, so. It's, uh, yeah. It's not bad, right? It's really not bad. Now, price we asked yesterday. Over 2,500. Uh, 2,550, 2,549 euros. So yeah. no, it's not a toy, it's a serious tool for the guy that doesn't want his board. Guitar, cable, in there for all British people. Guitar and then the lead. The lead. And the there lead. is an effects loop on it if you want to run your delay. And in case back. you guys didn't get this, it is valve. Yes, exactly. All you don't tube. know what tube means. Exactly. I love you guys so much. Okay, please don't turn it off right here. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, Really interesting, great concept. I love that. Thank you. And uh, thanks for hanging out. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having us. Thanks for discussing the rat's ass. Not everyone will do that. Well, you kind of had to. Exactly. There's no, no problem. Yeah. Um, animals at the end. We gotta go with cats, I think. So uh, piss off now. <laughs> That's the rat's ass. That's the rat's ass. Bye-bye.